Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Brecha Tax. I'm a student in Professor Levy's um, Introduction to Special Education course at Thoreau College. I'm going to be presenting you with a model lesson of how to teach vowel teams to second graders. Um, these second graders are kids with learning disabilities. Um, I don't actually have all the materials on me, so some of it I'll be doing it as though there's like a real class there, and some of it I'll kind of be just telling you or showing you what I would be doing. Um, okay, let's start. Okay. Oh, also I forgot to mention that this class has already learned the short, the short vowel sound, the long vowel sound, and they started doing some vowel teams. So they understand the idea of vowel teams, um, and we're going to be doing a new, new vowel team today that they didn't learn yet. Okay, now I'm sorry. Okay, hi everybody. Um, today we're going to be doing some new vowel teams. Um, you remember that yesterday we did the vowel teams AI and AY. So first I want somebody to read this word for me. This is a word from the AI vowel team. Who wants to come up and read it for me? Danny, you want to come read it? Okay, good. What does it say? Rain. Very good. And what's the vowel team in the word rain? A-I. And what sound does A-I make? A. Great. Okay. Next, we have vowel team A-Y, and we have a word with A-Y. Who wants to come read it? David, you want to come read it? What does this word say? Pay. Very good. And what's the vowel team in pay? A-Y. And what sound does A-Y make? A. Very good. So, class together, what sound does A-I make? A. And what sound does A-Y make? A. Great. So today, I'm going to erase this. Today we're learning two new vowel teams. We're learning the vowel teams E-A and E-E. -E. They both actually make the same sound. Let's see if we could figure out what sound these vowel teams make. Now I'm going to give you a hint. Remember we learned that rule? What was that rule we learned? That it doesn't always work, but in this case it actually does work. The rule was very good. When two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. So what's the first vowel here? E. So what sound do you think E A makes? E. Great. And over here we have E E. What's the first vowel? E. Very good. So what sound does E A make? E E make? E. Very good. So let's see if we can read some words with these vowel teams. Okay, who wants to read the first word here? Okay, Ellie, you want to come read it? Team. Very good. And does anyone want to read the second word? Avi. Okay, come. Mean. Very good. And what's the vowel sound in mean? E-A. What sound does E-A make? E. Okay, the next word. Who wants to come read it? Um, Ari. Okay, what does this word say? Leap. Very good. And what's the vowel team in leap? E-A. And what sound does E-A make? E. Very good. Okay, so everybody, what sound does E-A make? E. Now let's go to our next row. Here we have E-E. Who remembers? What sound did we say E-E makes? Oh, class together? Very good. It says E. So let's read some words with the E-E. Okay, who wants to read the first word? Okay. Um, David, you want to read it? Beep. Very good, David. And what's the vowel team in beep? E E. And what sound does E E make? E. Very good. Who wants to read the second word? Okay, Danny, come read it for us. Sheep. Very good. That was a hard one. Great, Danny. And what's the vowel team in sheep? E E. And what sound does E E make? E. Great. And who wants to read the next word? Ellie, come read it. Beat. Very good. And what's the vowel team in beat? E E. And what sound does E E make? E. Very good. You boys did a great job. You really wrote these out. Next thing I'm going to have you do, I'm going to erase these words, just leave one for an example, and I want to see if you boys could think of some more examples of words with the E-A vowel team. And I put the ABCs here, so you can look at the ABCs to help you come up with ideas of words. So let's see, can you think of any words that have an E-A in them? Um, leap. Very good. That's a good one, Ellie. You want to come right across? So first we have to figure out leap. It has the E-E sound. 
Do you know if it goes in EA or EE? That's right, it goes in the EA. Do you want to write it for us? Great. Okay. Anyone have any other ideas of words with E in it? Can you think of any words, anybody? Um, yes, David. Meat. That's a really good one. Now, meat is a really interesting one. You know why? You know that there's two types of meat? So which meat were you thinking of? Like the meat that you eat or to meet somebody? Then the meat that you eat. Okay. So we have to figure out which one goes in. So it goes here. So you eat a word. Do you want to write it for us? Great. Okay, then we have the other kind of meat, to meet somebody. Does anyone know which word that goes in? Right, it goes here. Do so you want to write it for us? Very good. Okay, you boys are doing a great job of thinking of words. Okay, the next thing I would do with the class is I would give out, we would do a phonics book. We would read together a phonics book that deals with the Babel team EA and EE. After they finish reading the book, I would have each kid, I would give them a paper worksheet, and I would have them go through the book and find words with EA and EE and write them down, and I'd have a row for EA and a row for EE. The next thing I would do with them is um, a game that I like to do with um, my students. I find they, they really like this game. They find it a lot of fun. And basically what the game involves is, let's say I start with one of the kids, let's say David, will start off being the teacher. And what happens is each kid gets a copy of the book, the science book that we read, and David will go with me to the corner outside the room and he'll pick, he'll go through the book, he'll pick a word on a page that has a particular vowel sound. Let's say he'll think of a word that has one of the vowel sounds that they learned, you know, one of the vowel sounds in the book. So let's say he'll find a word that has the E sound on page five. So he'll come back in the room and he'll tell the boys that he's thinking of a word that has the E sound on page five, and they should try to find it. And then each boy goes through the book and tries to find an E sound on page five. And if they think they have it, they'll raise their hands, he'll go over, tell them if it's right or not. And then when a boy gets the right answer, then he gets to be the teacher, and it's his turn to do it. The kids love this. I do this with, like, boys, second, usually second grade boys all the time. They love it. And it's a good reinforcement. It's a fun way for them to learn and to remember the other sounds. Um, then what I would do probably the next day is I would do a worksheet with them where I would have different columns of each vowel sound that they learned, the short vowels, the long vowels, the vowel teams, and, you know, I would have a sample of each one, and they would have to fill in, come up with words and fill them in. Um, for kids who have a hard time with it, I would, you know, point to the ABCs to the, for them, tell them to look at the ABCs to help them come up with ideas. Um, and if there are kids who really have a hard time with it, I would just give them a list of words myself, and they have to figure out which word goes in which category. And that is how I would teach Bell teams to second graders. Thank you for joining us.